The Global Maritime Crime Program of UNODC has been supporting maritime law enforcement agencies in Southeast Asia to increase their capabilities, be it through delivery of various trainings or through equipment support to strengthen their detection and interdiction capabilities. The rapid advancement of technology in recent years has paralleled the increasing complexity of maritime threats, as illicit actors have become more sophisticated in their operations. It is imperative that maritime law enforcement agencies not only adapt to these evolving challenges, but also proactively integrate innovative solutions into their operational frameworks. The significance of autonomous systems like uncrewed surface vessels or USBs, equipped with automatic identification system and day and night camera, are critical for maritime domain awareness. They enable continuous unmanned monitoring and provide real-time data to detect and track vessels accurately, even in low visibility or low light conditions. This technology expands coverage over large maritime areas, enhances situational awareness, and allows personnel to focus on high-priority tasks, making law enforcement operations more effective and comprehensive. The USV can uh, greatly enhance the operational capability of the Philippine Coast Guard, not only in our conduct of search and rescue operation, but more importantly on uh, maritime law enforcement operations, including the conduct of our mandated and deputized functions. This uh, USV uh, will be deployed in areas such as in the Sulu Celebacy and uh, in most part of our southern borders. Going in into the future, we need to adapt to the changing times. The adoption of unmanned technology like the USV is a step in the right direction. It'll be able to go to places where we have gaps in our monitoring. We'll be able to use it in all of our missions by extending our range, our endurance, and it's also self-writing. So we will be able to accomplish a wider range of missions. Really? future developments of the USV equipment, what we're looking at is number one, to introduce satellite communications, which will then increase the capability of the USV to operate anywhere in the Philippine archipelago. The second upgrade we'll be looking at will be to introduce a radar onto the USV, which will enable us to download tracks of other vessels back into the control center. This will enable the better control of the USV unit itself. The third thing we want to introduce will be a chart plotter, so that on a nautical chart, as opposed to a Google map, then the operator can actually trace out the course and set the waypoints of the USV in advance the next thing that we need to introduce there is what we call Radar Watch. Radar Watch has got a complete portfolio of operations whereby you can track your own ship, you can track other ships, and you can plot courses in real time. Data would be brought from the satellite communication system down to the control channel. The next thing that we will be looking at is fully autonomous operation. The USV can be pre-programmed to carry out a particular mission of any number of waypoints. But what we have to be able to do is to safely navigate the waters around the Philippines. We can do that with satellite communications. The GMCP has been continuously providing us with support on capacity building programs which greatly enhance not only the personal capacity and capability of our personnel, but also enables us to interact with our counterparts in other countries such as Malaysia and Indonesia. The provision of this uh, USB is a testament of the uh, support that is being given to us by the uh, UNODC.